In Sutton Park, in between the showers, these cattle are doing their bit for conservation. One of the big uh, benefits that they have to the site is their dung. So it provides a fantastic resource for a whole range of invertebrates, which then goes on to feed birds and bats of the night time. So that just for that alone, they're worth their weight in gold. But Sutton Park also has walkers, vehicles and a golf course, and that's not always a happy mix with cattle, so you do need to control them. The trouble is, if you want to control cattle in somewhere like Sutton Park, traditionally you need to have traditional fencing. You need fence posts, barbed wire, maybe even electric fences. But that's not what they're doing here. In this new trial, for the first time in this country, this herd is being controlled using virtual fencing. The secret is these orange solar-powered collars. They track the movements of the animals and they also tell them where they can't go. First with a sound and then, if needed, with an electric shock, about 75% of the strength of a traditional electric fence. There's a sound bite before they get a shock, if you like. So now they're trained, it's always just the sound and then they turn around and come away from the, the invisible fence. In fact, for 25 years, Adam and his family have brought cattle up here to graze. The new collars offer them real benefits, including the ability to track and quickly locate injured animals. And moving the virtual fences is as simple as sending a new map to the collars themselves. And all this came about after one newly retired golfer swore he'd solved the problem of cattle on the fairways. They were happy this year that they would got to the stage where we could begin a trial and that's what we're doing now. So the cattle have been in a week and it's working really well. We're all delighted with the way it's working. So until they head back to the farm for winter, the high-tech invisible fences of Sutton Park will be keeping the cattle safe and out of trouble. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Minutes Today, Sutton Park.